Hi there, my name is Momshla Stojkovic and I'll be showing you my new script called Centrum and uh, the script organizes layers into a circle formation and more. Let me show you a couple of test renders I made with Centrum. As you can see I had 8 null objects and now I have a circle. I can use lights, cool solids, I can make a helix, I can make a cone, a spiral and we have a couple of really cool objects made with optical flares and they are fully 3D so let me show you that. I'll make a new composition and you start the script by going to window and then centrum. As you can see it's a dockable script so you can put it anywhere you like. I'll leave it here and let me make a null object and change its anchor point to the middle. I'll duplicate it a couple of times and I'll select all of the layers and I'll select the circle here and I'll click apply. As you can see the script made a centrum control layer which I can use to play with the circle. It also made a, a ton of effects you can use to play with this script and we can really make some interesting results. Okay let me show you how to work with solids. Okay let's generate a uh, 40 solids that are 40 by 40 and just click apply for circle as you can see if uh, the layer is selected and I change this to spiral and I click apply it will make a spiral or helix or a cone I will show the helix and the cone afterwards with lights okay number of circles two as you can see there is two circles if I put it to one there will be only one, if I put it to three, there will be three circles. Let me put this to one and change the start and date radius to 200 so we can set, we can have a nice circle. Okay, if orient up is checked, when I rotate the layer, the layers will always look to, to the top of the screen. If I uncheck it, layers will rotate with the null, but I like to leave this on because you can get some really nice results. If you check orient to center, it will look the center, but we can't see anything. Ah, okay. You will see now that layers are oriented towards the center. We, I have a, this cool feature where you can progressively scale the layers, play with the maximum value, or fade it in. Okay, let's make a new solid. Add optical flares to it let's say 20 by 20 and let's say track lights let's generate a light 80 lights click generate and then click apply and we we'll, we have a nice looking 3d object with lights awesome okay if I rotate it it's flat but I can use the Z depth to make it 3D. As you can see, this is some, this is really, really interesting. You can make some really cool stuff with this. And if I have the central control selected and I choose here circle and click apply, it will reorganize itself. There you go. Let me create a helix my personal favorite it's too big so let's put the start radius to 50 and the end radius to 50 and this looks already really really sweet and you can play with the z depth make it bigger and we can play with the twist value to make even more circles but let me select this actually I'll delete everything and I'll generate 200 lights yeah a lot and I'll select cone and I'll click apply now I'll make a new solid with optical flares I'll say clear all I'll add this this and I want to make a nice Christmas tree with this 
actually I'll change the rotation duplicate this put this to minus 45 click OK put this to red and let me decrease this to 20 and if I check track lights boom done we have a really nice Christmas tree but let's play with it a bit let's put this to 400 put the end radius to let's say 150 and actually I'll change the brightness to 10 yeah nice and I will play with twist so I can make it more random ah there you go nice now if I animate Z, Z rotation with a simple expression and I use the flicker of optical flares and ramp preview this and there you go a really cool 3d Christmas light for your project okay I hope you'll find this script useful that's it bye bye